That whole just say no movement, one of the reasons that was even in existence is because of the man we are about to introduce right now. Some I mean, he's basically, shit. he was the wholesaler of wholesalers when it came to crack cocaine in the 80s. If you touched crack cocaine in Los Angeles and many other parts of the country in the early to mid 80s, there's a very, very high chance this man had something to do with it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Freeway, Rick Ross, come on through, my friend. Woo! Come on through. Come it on is a pleasure. Down. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yes, Good to yes. see you, man. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead and grab your headphones so you can hear everything. So you can hear all the nonsense. Yeah. We're going to talk. Good to see you. Good to <laughs> see you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, glad yeah. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Long time coming. And thank you so much to uh, my homegirl, Trish, who uh, made all this possible. Oh. Now, Mr. Ross, um, God, I just want to kind of start from the beginning, man. Um, how Let's did go. you? Yes, yeah. go. He's ready. Because I know, I know. So what you got oh, for man. me, fool? <laughs> yeah, because I know, I know everything about this dude, man. Just growing up in yeah. L.A., it's kind of like he—he's a legend. He, mm -hmm. you hear his name synonymous with, I mean, Frank Lucas on, you know, the other side of the country, and you know, Griselda Blanco mm -hmm. down in Miami. I mean, these are these are people who um, we grew up, you know, fucking idolizing mm -hmm. i hate to say you know <laughs> i don't want to you know but we grew up idolizing it's crazy yeah, yeah it, it is it right is i mean crazy to, um, so much so that there's a dude out there making millions of dollars off your name you know what i mean so it's like it's so crazy to where how how far your name has has made it man. Yeah, yeah you know when i first started i never would have thought that it would have grown into what it grew into you really know? it's not something that i had sit down and planned mm -hmm. or mapped out it wasn't like that it was like uh, I'm just gonna make a couple bucks, you know. Uh -huh, yeah, get myself, yeah, get a nice yeah, get car, myself maybe. out of this position that I'm in. Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. give myself a boost, and and then it just like exploded man, into something that um, you know that you wouldn't even dream about in your wildest nightmares. Yeah. You know, you, you're talking about a kid that uh, when I was a kid, I went to school with holes in my shoes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, no lunch money, you know. I had to yeah. sneak on the on the RTD bus. You yeah, know. And the RTD, I remember the RTD. Man. <laughs> wow. I remember That's the RTD LA too. Right yeah. there. Yeah. I just had to sneak on the bus, man, because I didn't have bus fare to get home from school. You yeah. Know, after a long day of playing tennis in school. Yeah, and, yeah. And and uh, I'll be like, because you were you were a tennis prodigy, right? I mean, you yeah, I was trying to be a tennis pro. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. I was kind of molding myself after Arthur Ashe. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And why tennis? Like, just is that just what you were good at, or you just like? Well, you know, uh, I wanted to play football. I, I mean, you know, in the ghetto, there's only a few ways that we feel that we can get out. Yeah, yeah. Basketball, you know, basketball, football, rap, football, or whatever the case and, may be. Yeah. You know, when I was in the ninth grade of high school, uh, I've been playing tennis a couple of years, but uh, none of the high school coaches looked at me in football for football, basketball. You know, oh, okay. When they came down and they were picking guys who they wanted on their teams, I didn't get picked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. I was a little guy. Right, know? right. So you said, "Fuck y'all, show you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tennis, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. So it started with the tennis, and you know, and then when uh, tennis didn't pan out, uh, it was cocaine. You started. And how did that one. come about? How who who introduced you to? Who gave you your first bag? Like, what? How did that go? Oh, uh, one of my big homies. Okay. You know, his name was Michael McLaurin. Um, he went to Fremont High School. Uh, he was a couple years older than I was, mm -hmm. and uh, um, he got a scholarship in football and went off to college. And when he came back, he came back with this white powder, man. You know, okay. He, was, <laughs> he said, "Fuck college. This mm -hmm. is where the money's at." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to play football no more. He's like, man, <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah. too much work, <laughs> training and shit. <laughs> Getting hit Easy. on and knocked around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is much easier. And I mean, but back then it was it was kind of seen as cocaine was more of a uh, like a rich man, mm -hmm. white man drug. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So very, very exclusive. Uh, uh, you know, when when I talk to some of the young kids now, they can't believe the prices that uh, it used to be back then. What was the price like uh, uh, average? gram of coke back then three hundred fifty dollars three hundred seventy five dollars per gram shit that, that's that that's 80s money right. that's 80s money what Damn. would what what would that be today that would probably be double or Fucking maybe even double, triple. triple maybe even triple but but Damn. it's reversed i believe i'm well no yeah i mean though. the value's gone down yeah. but i'm talking about like the worth you yeah, know yeah three hundred and fifty dollars in the 80s yeah, yeah probably right now would be worth like twelve hundred god, god. 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 so I'm curious because earlier you said that, it, you know, that basically you started doing this 
just to get by, you know, just to make a living, so to speak. Yeah. What, what was the turning point? Where did you see this explode? Or was it just a gradual process? It was a gradual process. You know, when I first started, I, I figured I could make $5,000 and, and, and I could be good for the rest of my life. Uh-huh. Me, me and my partner, you know, mm-hmm. I had a partner that started with me. So we was like, oh, we make 5000 We set for life. You know, uh-huh. we never had to do nothing else. And what was this, 5000 a month? No, oh, just five thousand total. 5, like, total. Yeah, because back then they're just like, <laughs> yeah. no, five thousand is yeah. a good look chunk. I mean, back you're then. talking about a guy that didn't have fifty dollars in yeah. his pocket. Yeah, you know, no, and, so. and yeah, five thousand okay. back then. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I never saw five thousand. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I don't know if I'd ever saw a thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you talk about five thousand. I'm like, oh, five thousand. I can buy. That's a nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You see, no, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So you know, it was it was just like crazy, you know. And then you know, we made five, and then I said. Well, we're making like $300 every day. Let's make 20 Man. So I started and, and it just kept, you know, roller coasting and roller coasting. And was it, was it crack at this time or was it both? both. Oh, both. okay. Because this was what year are we talking uh, about? 81-ish. Okay. Because crack hit about L. I remember, I'm, you know, kind of a little bit older, but I remember L- L.A. hitting crack about the 83, 84. So I was, yeah. that's probably when it hit the news, but it's yeah, already yeah, been. Yeah, it had been there. Okay, okay. It was there even before uh, uh, I started. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, but you know, at that time they were doing what they call uh, Ether Basin. A uh, free base or whatever, right? Is that free base? What? Something like that? Crack, because we didn't call it crack. Okay. You know, we used to call it ready rock. Okay. Uh, 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 rock cocaine. Mm-hmm. Uh, they used to what they call eat the base. Mm-hmm. And it was so many chemicals to, 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 to make it that uh, somebody figured out that you could just do it with baking soda, and, and it was much much faster. So it, it just flipped. Oh, okay. From there. And then at one Probably time. Probably cheaper, too, huh? Or uh, about the same. Not not really mm. cheaper, but y- just just in the time, because freebasers are like they want it right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And 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 it was a mentality of of the people that were doing it because all the people were doing it was wealthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Know? And you know how wealthy people are. And give they it to me now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right now, mm-hmm. you know, Rick James, give it to me right <laughs> yeah. now, baby. <laughs> Fuck your couch. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so so that's pretty much how how it kicked off, you know, and 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 it just like kept snowballing, you know, kept getting bigger and bigger and faster and bigger and faster and better and. And, and now, were you working towards making it that big, or it was like you said, just something that came almost like oh, fell in your lap after after I got started and I saw what I was doing, I was trying to make it big. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. well, I ain't even gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. 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 You said Smart fuck man. five thousand. Smart man. Oh no, no, no. I started uh, uh, pooling all my money back mm-hmm. into the drugs. Oh. Um, you invested. Yeah, you I invested found wisely. I found out Smart com- man. compound interest. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to talk after this. Now, now I want to bring this up because this is very important. You were illiterate all through high school, correct? Yeah, totally. So for a man to accomplish all of this and not even be able to, you know what I'm saying, read what people put in front of him, how did you even make it to $5,000? How did you even make it to $20,000? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't read, but I could count real well. There you go, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whole different skill like set. A, yeah, you lose Whole an eye, man. My ear sight is better, right? <laughs> and, and what I found out is that People, what do they have? What is it called? The word I'm looking for. They like compensate. Yeah. For for weakness. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. right. So what I found out about myself is that I read people really well. Okay. You know, I okay. was really good at reading people and figuring people out, and uh, that became like one of my access. That makes a lot of uh, sense. I was yeah. gonna say that has to, to be absolutely pivotal in that industry because it you know it's horrible i must yeah. imagine that you're always having to watch your back like who can you trust? always who can you, you not? can't trust really anybody Man. because you know uh there's a thing that we say when i was in jail is that today's drug partner is tomorrow's snitch yeah which yeah. is what happened to you essentially right yep yeah <laughs> absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely oh, and on several several times Damn. oh wow Damn, several dude. times so uh, to kind of get back to the beginning of everything, did, I mean, did you just buy? When did you get your first car? Like your first Benz? Like I never, I how never fast, bought. You know what I mean? Like how fast? I did never, it, I um, never bought a Benz for myself. Okay, okay. I never. Um, I, I bought a few new cars, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like you know, just like 
playing cards. Because like, when did like you a, feel it? Like I'm I'm balling out of control. Like I'm balling. Dumb. I knew I, I, the first thing I bought was a motel. Okay, see, smart. Yeah, you. You know, so I of, I knew when I bought the motel mm -hmm. that 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 I was wealthy. <laughs> okay. Leaving the dope game and just hopefully Absolutely. focus on. Absolutely. You know, okay. I, I kind of like, I kind of like map my career out after Superfly. I saw the movie okay. Superfly. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and in the movie Superfly, if you remember, he wanted out of the game. You know, he no longer wanted to be a drug dealer. And so with myself, uh, I wanted out. And when I went into the drug business, I went in with the intention that I was not going to get stuck in the game. Because, you know, you hear so much about, oh, if you sell drugs, you know, you're gonna, the mafia going to own you. And, and I didn't want to be owned by anybody. I was selling drugs for freedom. Because what I found out is that when you're poor and broke, mm -hmm. when you're not free. Mm. Nope. We got kids right now in South Central that has never been to the beach. Yeah, That's true. And it's 10 miles away, maybe 12 yeah, miles, so, if that. You know so, what I mean? So that's kind of like being that's confined nuts, yeah. into a certain area, a certain demographic. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and it's not really what I consider as freedom. It's not yeah. growth And that's all, all they know. How many states did, because um, you started in obviously in L.A., but I know it, your, I guess, I don't know, franchise, Empire, yeah, Empire kind of Make it went into other states. Man. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, cocaine is, is it's a funny drug. I mean, well, well you know what? Really, all drugs mm -hmm. has a way of moving around. I mean, even even uh, when I was in the pen, I was at uh, USP Lompoc, uh -huh. uh, one of the most secure penitentiaries in the country. Okay. And I was in the hole, which okay. is considered like a jail inside yeah. of the jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and while I was there, a guy OD in prison inside of the prison. Shit. So you're talking about? Uh, Did you supply him that shit? <laughs> <laughs> He's all, I, is, That's I how deep it rolls. <laughs> He was in the whole hole and he was still getting drugs. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Meaning that he had no no That's contact with other amazing, inmates. Amazing, but when you're in the hole, you don't have contact with yeah. other inmates. Mm -hmm. Well, we were actually on on our drive up here. We were talking about Griselda Blanco and how even when she was while she was incarcerated, she was still running all kinds of shit. You yeah. know what? And I was like, how? I mean, because my mind, I can't wrap my mind around the really the genius it takes to do it's, something like it that is. It's, it, it is a genius thing did you now being that you did spread into other territories did you ever have any problems with any other you know what i'm saying because the 80s there was a lot of big name you know what i'm saying drug dealers in other cities chicago miami new york of course did, did no, you ever I, have I any mean, problems i mean um i've always been kind of seen like the forefront of the crack epidemic and I don't have the type of personality that would conflict with people. So, I mean, I had I had pretty much of a run. I mean, almost like right now, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, it's like Same crazy. Same you, right? It, you know, uh, I go some places, man, and they just like open up the city for me. You know, it's like. Wow. Nice. Unbelievable. I cannot believe the kind of love and respect that I'm getting. I mean, I'm just like overwhelmed that. Uh, that people accept me, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, uh, for mm -hmm. what I did, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What did you do differently that the average drug dealer wasn't doing back then? How did you turn zero dollars into? I think your empire almost reached six hundred million. My last two years, I made at least a million dollars every day. Every day. Every day. Some days, God day. damn. And some days up to three million. Jesus. Uh, Shit. I wasn't into the cars. I wasn't into the clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, you were smart. You My, didn't bring attention to yourself. No, it didn't. Because because if I would have, I would have been busted a long time right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Um, because, you know, they created a task force that yeah. was called the Freeway Task Force. Specifically yeah. for you. Your name is almost synonymous with CIA, with Ronald Contras. Reagan, with Nicaragua. Yeah, How yeah. did this come about? What, it was this reporter uh, named Gary Webb from the San Jose Mercury News. Mm-hmm. And he was following my old drug supplier, you know, trying okay. to figure out who this guy was, what was he doing, how did he do it, mm -hmm. you know, how was this guy avoiding prosecution for all these years. Uh, in his research, he ran into me, and we struck up a friendship, and he told me he was writing a story, and, and we just started working together. You funded, and this is what I fucking found amazing, you funded Anita Baker's first album. I gave Otis Smith the uh, 600000 to to finance her project. Why didn't you go into hip-hop? I had a decision, like, 
Do I go with DJ Pooh and do a hip hop album, or do I go with Otis Smith, Dick Griffey? Bigger names. Bigger names DJ yeah. Pooh wasn't as big. He hadn't worked with Ice Cube or anybody at that level exactly. yet. Exactly. So. And then when I went in their offices, they had like the platinum and the yeah. gold records. I DJ think Pooh Otis, was probably in the garage or something, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, man, I go over to the house, and it, it's crazy, right? Because I meet Dre a couple years ago for the first time. Dr. Dre? Okay. Yeah, so, and I go over to his house, and we sitting in his house, and he's like, man, that day you came over there with DJ Pooh, I was sitting there. I look at it, and I was like, wow, you know, you, you had all those guys there. right there, you yeah. right there. And, you know, their project would have been a lot cheaper to finance than what Anita Baker's, and then I had all the independent distribution at that time. You know, I had... Otis and Dick Griffey would have did anything that I wanted them to do. Anything, yeah. man. Damn. So, you know, both of them rest in peace. Uh, but, you know, I was right there, well, man. And I, just, I think you had a you had a decision to make and you went with the more logical one. Because the other one was more of a risk. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. And, and, they, and they both told me that uh, hip-hop wasn't here to stay. I get, you know what? Uh, let's get on to now. Who do you know the source of who turned you in? Or was it just... Your name was just already out there, you know, and, and it just was inevitable. Well, well, my name was out. Uh, you know, I believe that they have what they call a pecking order. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they go to the top of the list and mm -hmm. they work their way down. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, my name was already there. And when Danilo Blandon, who, who is my informant, mm -hmm. the guy that set me up, uh -huh. when they came to him and told him that they wanted me, then he obliged, you know, by uh, cooperating with him and setting me up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he... I believe I read too. He wasn't even deported after that, right? He no, I got him deported. Yeah, uh, I got him deported. Wikipedia, you need to update your <laughs> shit. <laughs> from prison, he is deported now, oh, but he wasn't. He? he wasn't at that time. Yeah. Uh, you know, the law is is pretty clear. It says that if an alien gets convicted of a felony, they must be deported. Mm -hmm. Well, in his case, he got convicted, but they didn't deport him. They allowed him to get a job mm -hmm. with DEA. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? And, uh, yeah. and was working. And, and when he set me up, he shouldn't even been in this country. So, so, so you got on that shit real quick. Oh huh? man! And, and then this guy Tez, he should have been fired, but they demoted him at least. You know, mm -hmm. I had to settle for the demotion. Well, he's the guy that for mm -hmm. INS that doctored up his 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 green card and and gave it to him. I don't know how this guy is still a uh, 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 INS agent. I don't want to touch on this just for a quick bit, but um, you, I, where are you in the process with the rapper Rick Ross, who took your name and made millions and millions of dollars off of it? I know there was some legal action going on. Where are you at the moment with that? Yeah, well, we just we just came from the California Supreme Court, and uh, they ruled against us. They okay. said that uh, he turned my name into a character, I think is what, wow. they, what they said. Wow. And, <laughs> wow. And by that happening... After all, the, after all the shit you've been through, how does... Oh, that must piss you off. Go ahead. I'm sorry, man. It pisses me off, and I'm not even you. Yeah. So, <laughs> look, he's over here all so, chill. So, like, you know, I'm not surprised, though. You know, mm -hmm. whenever they, they open their arguments, the first thing they would say is, the big bad drug dealer. You know, once you sell drugs in this country right mm -hmm. now, it's such a, a, a stigma to it that... Mm -hmm. Uh, once you do that, then you don't really have rights anymore. Yeah. You know, that, that people can trample over you. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, you you're bad forever. You know, mm -hmm. once you do that, you, you can never get that jacket off of you. Mm -hmm. uh, How have you gotten that from the community? Because the community has embraced you so well. Well, you know, most of the people in the com community, they understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they're there. They're, they're, they're at that line where they're like... I'm ready to cross that line myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You they, know, they understand the I frustration. I can see myself crossing that line, you know. Yeah. So so they understand, you know. It, it's more so the people who are up in the extra, upper echelon. Echelon. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. the ones that have never had to suffer so they don't know what it's like to go hungry, to not have. Of course, it's easy for them to point mm -hmm. a finger and say, you're bad, yeah. you know, yeah. for what you're doing. Exactly. But I have a question because mm -hmm. I was really... Um, surprised that the community has welcomed you back while you were involved in that industry did you give back to the community oh absolutely absolutely uh, I, I did what uh, and, and one of my, my attorney uh, shout out to him Antonio Moore boop, boop. He, he brought it to my attention is what I did is when I started buying cocaine, kilos of cocaine was like $75,000 $80,000 a kilo I brought keys down to 10000 10 a key 10 a key. Yeah. And what I did is I didn't keep 
the people who got their drugs from me at fifty thousand a kilo. No, mm-hmm. I brought them down to fifteen thousand a kilo. Damn. Uh, kind of like the Walmart. I mean, you know, the, the to give it a. You know, what I'm saying the. Stamp, it's like the Walmart Absolutely. of cocaine, right? I think that's yeah. what LA Times said. Oh, did they? There you go. <laughs> Damn, you're so LA smart. Didn't Dusty. even know it. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> so I shared it with everybody mm-hmm. because everybody that, that, that I felt that was selling drugs with me, I considered them my friend or my family, mm-hmm. and, and I wanted to see them have money just like I wanted to have money. Okay, yeah. Which I think is very yeah. unlike your typical drug dealer who want you know who is territorial they and they will do whatever the hell they have to do oh, to keep the yeah. money yeah. monopolized mm-hmm. so you were into helping and overcharge you you know mm-hmm. I, i've known guys to 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 like run it with an iron fist and, mm-hmm. and overcharge their people yeah instead yeah. of being fair with them and letting them have money you know yeah they felt like all the money should come to themselves now, did those people remember you, you know, when, once shit went down? Well, you know, when, 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 when you're selling drugs and the people around you, when I first fell, I, I was mad because mm-hmm. nobody was there for me to help me and, 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 and to help me out of the situation. Mm-hmm. But after I was there for a while, I started to understand that uh, they were fleeing not only because they didn't want to be around me, but because they were afraid. Damn. I can't believe this interview's yeah, over, man. Yeah, this was good. I got, uh, I got a present for you guys. I want to oh, give you guys oh, a present. Another one, Rick. We got a present from Mr. Rick yeah. Ross. I heard Get you say it was your 80th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> And we don't look a day over 20. See, oh, Mr. Wow. Ross I mean, you're, you're gives me an anniversary present and oh, you don't. yeah. Oh, oh the real damn. Rick Ross is not a rapper, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to rock the yeah. shit oh, out of that. Hell yeah. My size, too. And it's American Apparel. Hey, I'm a, hey can Mr. I get one Ross? for my sister? <laughs> Mr. Ross rocking American Apparel. <laughs> can I get one for my sister? Can we get one for my man in the control room, he asked. If he doesn't mind, he's a uh, huge. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Ross. You're the man. Uh, thank you so much. I really, you, really Ross. appreciate it. I'm I'm going to give you a hug. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't do no Uh-oh. handshakes. <laughs> Uh-oh, y'all. It's going down after it. <laughs> Mr. Ross, we have to have you back maybe someday in the yes, future. We'd please. love to have you My book back. is coming out in March. There you go. I was going to say, pub something. What, what do you got uh, yeah, coming yeah. up? My book is coming out in March. My documentary is coming out, I think, in June. Hey, y'all can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Freeway Rick. Facebook Freeway Rick Hit that like button You know what I'm saying yep. Follow me I'll follow you back yes. I ain't gonna be one of them Where you follow them And they'll follow you back You hit me I got you There you go Girl. Hit me and I hit and you get back. you one of these t-shirts <laughs> Get you That's one of these right. Real with Ross is not a rapper t-shirts They hot Yes There you go They come in a variety of colors Thank you Mr. Ross and make sure-